Resident Evil 5 is built around cooperative play, so we thought it'd be a good idea to do a co-op video review. Yeah, I'm sort of Sheva to Ryan's Chris Redfield. So in Resident Evil 5, you play as Chris Redfield, and you're sent into Africa, and you meet up with a new partner, Sheva Alomar. Chris and Sheva's mission is to stop a deal for biological weapons that's going down in the Kijuju region of Africa. In fact, this is sort of ripped off a plot of 24, I believe. The storyline here is meant to close out the Chris Redfield story arc, and you have past events. Those are all brought up, and some mysteries are solved, some questions are answered. This is really a game, at least for the story-wise, that is meant for people who have played a bunch of other Resident Evil games. The first thing you'll notice with Resident Evil 5 is the game looks phenomenal. It performs really well, the environments look great, the scenery is just stunning. Obviously this is on a new generation of consoles and it's been built that way, so you get these amazing explosions, the fact that you can actually play online co-op, have it run seamlessly. I mean, every once in a while there's some screen tearing, but for the most part the environments are gorgeous. There's great texture work. I think this is one of the first current-gen games that can actually stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with a game like Gears of War, uh, just in terms of the overall visual punch that it has. Now, this is a Resident Evil game, but it doesn't play like some of the Resident Evil games you might be familiar with in the past. This is more of an action game than a survival horror game. I would actually go as far to say as that this is really not a Resident Evil game at all. This is an action game that has the overarching themes of Resident Evil mixed into it, but if you go into this thinking you're going to get a corridor shooter with lots of stuff jumping out at you in a creepy atmosphere, it's not here at all. Go into this thinking this is going to be an awesome action movie, and I think you're going to have a great time with it. And again, this game was built as a co-op game, and having a partner at your back at all times makes it less scary. So when you know somebody's behind you who can watch your back, you're just not going to have those oh crap moments. <laughs> Playing RE5 with a partner, a real life partner, is a lot of fun. It's really easy to get in and join a game online, and once you do, you can play however you see fit. Yeah, the combo moves that they had in Resident Evil 4, that same idea is back for Resident Evil 5. Only now with a co-op player, you can have a little bit more fun with it. What's available for a combo move is really dependent on where you shoot an enemy. Because an enemy's body is going to react differently whether you shoot him in the shoulder or the leg, and that positioning is going to change the type of attack you can do. I always fire directly at the crotch. Although RE5 is built for co-op, a lot of players will play it by themselves, and when you do that, Sheva will be controlled by the AI. It does a pretty good job. Sheva does an okay job of getting out of the way and not being in your line of sight. She does tend to overuse ammo and overuse health, so you got to kind of watch her. Also, fans of Resident Evil are familiar with the fact that you usually only have a certain number of inventory slots, and you have to kind of carefully manage that. So you can also use Sheva sort of as a pack mule, kind of you take the weapons you want and give her the okay. things that you want her to carry around, except not help. I need ammo. Take this. When you finish Resident Evil 5, you unlock this really cool mercenaries mode, which is just you against a horde of zombies, and you're racing against the clock to get as many points as you can. It's similar to the mode we saw in Resident Evil 4, and it's a lot of fun in RE5. The mercenaries mode really shows the one feeling of the campaign, and that is the mercenaries mode is an incredibly intense adventure where you're always worried about how much ammo you have, you always feel like you're about to die, and you always feel overwhelmed, and that's whether you're playing single player or co-op, and there's really none of that feeling brought into the campaign mode itself. And that feeling that Hill was just describing is that classic Resident Evil feeling of always on the edge, almost about to die, almost a crisis, and you know, it's kind of strange that the only time you feel that really is in the Mercenaries mode in RE5. Resident Evil 5 is a great action game, but I'd say it's not really a Resident Evil game in the traditional sense. Now this is a game that I never got bored with. You know, there was never a moment in Resident Evil 5 where I kind of said to myself, uh, I just wish this was over. It's From start to finish, I just wanted to play more and more, and honestly, the minute that I finished it, I said to myself, man, I can't wait to go run through back again, you know, with my shotgun with unlimited ammo or my magnum with unlimited ammo, and just blow the crap out of stuff. You're so cheap. However, I did find it was a little bit too easy, at least on the normal mode when I first played through. I really wasn't finding the challenge that I was expecting from a Resident Evil game. And that plays really into the whole idea that this is a game that just doesn't have that intense I'm about to die feeling to it. It's that most of the time you can escape, you can actually avoid death the majority of time and that's because you know if you get struck down and you're gonna die I can actually run up to you and heal you in a certain amount of time and save you just like way you could with uh, Gears of War for example. Uh, and it just you always feel like you have a safety net. 
This may not be the game that Resident Evil fans expected, but it's still a great game. As far as third-person action games go, if you forget the fact that this is a Resident Evil game, I think this is one of the best ones that we've seen so far on this generation. It's just when you factor in that idea that this is supposed to be Resident Evil, that it comes up slightly lacking just because it doesn't have that horror element to it that we've come to expect 